The bird is free, tweets the new CEO of Twitter on the heels of his $44 billion takeover of the tech platform. Elon Musk, who is also the owner of Tesla and SpaceX, calls himself a free speech absolutist, already purging the company's top executives with the pledge to fire more and roll back clampdowns on content. And joining us now with his take is John Schweppe, Director of Policy and Government Affairs at the American Principles Project. John, always a pleasure. Welcome back. Uh, so it seems Musk is wasting no time at all firing some top executives with more layoffs planned. Uh, it's hard to keep up with him these days. What's the latest? Yeah, I mean, he's going in there and uh, totally revamping the company right away. Exactly what he said he was going to do. And uh, you're already seeing him talk about uh, creating a, a uh, content moderation uh, advisory board to kind of help him develop these free speech policies. But it's very encouraging. Uh, he's getting a lot of pushback from not only the mainstream media and Democrat politicians, but even, you know, celebrities, entertainment figures. And uh, it's going to be a tough run, but it seems like he's really trying to do something good here. Yeah, and some call, uh, you know, this Twitter takeover by Musk a, a fighting chance for free speech. How confident are you that that's going to be the case? I think it's going to be really tough. I mean, one thing that we have to consider is that, uh, you know, Twitter is in the App Store and there's an App Store duopoly controlled by Apple and Google. And what happened with Parler when Parler was competitive was that those two companies, you know, deplatformed Parler and basically destroyed the company. Uh, obviously, they still exist to a degree, but not like they were. And that's the fear here is that, you know, there's going to be a committed uh, woke capital corporate advertiser boycott. There's going to be efforts by some of these other big tech company companies to deplatform. And obviously, if that happens, it's going to be really troubling. So I think right now what we need to do is make sure that we're you know, publicly supporting what Elon's trying to do. Republican politicians need to alert these companies that if they interfere here, we're going to be looking at them in a big way. And hopefully we'll be able to have free speech so we can have a little bit more confidence in our 2024 presidential election. Yeah, and John, as you know, some pretty big advertisers say that they plan to boycott Twitter uh, following the takeover or if Musk reinstates former President Trump's account. Among them, General Motors. Uh, what's your reaction to this? I think it's virtue signaling to, you know, left-wing activists. If these companies were really worried about content on Twitter, you know, you'd think they'd be a little bit more worried about pornographic content or, you know, uh, CSAM, uh, child sexual abuse material. That's actually been a problem Twitter has that Elon's going to have to address. And these companies said nothing about that. So, you know, it seems like a little bit, this is the Democratic Party and their inner workings really trying to uh, to make a big stink here. But ultimately, free speech is an American value. It's an American principle. And I think once he gets this going and figures out exactly how to do it to, you know, deal with threats of violence and things like that, but also allow political, cultural, religious speech freely on the platform, I think we'll end up with something pretty good. Yeah. And before I let you go, any final thoughts? No, I just think, you know, this is one of those things. I don't think most people expected this to go through. I think a lot of folks thought, you know, it'd be very difficult for him to do it. And uh, and we got to give him credit where it's due. I mean, he saw this through to completion. He's already firing a lot of these executives, executives who are responsible uh, for the censorship during the 2020 election and deplatforming President Trump. And so, you know, I, I don't think Elon's perfect by any means, but you have to appreciate what he's trying to do. And and we certainly look forward to seeing what he's going to accomplish. Yeah, it's certainly going to be interesting, no doubt about that. John, thanks so much for coming on. Always appreciate it. Thanks for having me.